Alright, so here's my Bunsen burner. Here it is. Alright? So here's my Bunsen burner, don't mind me. And then I have, let's see. Let's see. I have some don't want that. Uh, I have some flames coming out of here. Here's my Bunsen burner flames. I want I'm adding to it right now, I'm recording right now. I'm recording right now. Okay? Unless you're going to act like an idiot. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know why it's loading down. So I have my, I have my wonderful little Bunsen burner. So what happens is we're going to take our little nichrome wire. Where are my tools? So here we go. So I'm going to pull this over here. All right, so I have my little nichrome wire loop. Here he is. Here he comes in here. All right. And then, of course, uh, we have our little sample on this loop. All right. So let's just say that sample, give me an, uh, a sample that lithium. we've used. Lithium. Uh, All right, let's use lithium. So when we have lithium, let's just pull this out. This is lithium sample, so Li plus. All right, so Li plus, real quickly, what is the electron configuration for Li plus? Pretty much, just minus one electron. There it is, 1s2. It's not 1s2, 2s1. Why is it not 1s2, 2s1? Can you minus one? So that is gone. Sorry, so it's only 1s2. All right, there's nothing else left. Anytime you form an ion, all right, anytime you form an ion, any ion of group A elements equal electron config of a noble gas. All right, so any ion is an electron config. So I have Li plus. And we put it in there, what happens to the electrons? What happens to the electrons when I put them in there? What do they do? They get excited by doing what? All right, so these electrons, here they are. Electrons get excited. Why? All right, so they are get excited because they're absorbing a quanta of energy. Ah, oh, so what is that word I threw in there? There's going to be a quanta of energy. And here's the deal. You can't absorb energy in halves. You can't absorb, or absorb it in quarters. You can only absorb it in energy levels. Do we have an N equals 1.5? Do we have an N equals 2.75? We have n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so we imagine this. Here are my quantized energies. So here's Mr. Electron from lithium. Here he is. He's hanging out right there. Now, all of a sudden, we give it all this energy from the Bunsen burner in the form of heat. And what happens is it absorbs a quantum. Okay, so absorb. Now it's at 2. Maybe it got a little more energy. And it jumped up to n equals 3. Okay? It jumped up. It got excited, it jumped up. Now at this point, what happens to the flame? All right, so it's going to change colors, and from here, the flame starts turning red. All right, that's a low energy wave. And the wave is red because what is happening? The atom is Absolutely. So from n equals 3, it has to go back to n equals 1. It has to give off the energy it absorbs. Is it endothermic or exothermic? Is it endo or exo? It's exothermic. It actually really has very little heat change, like minimal. Gives off energy absorbed in form of light and heat. All right, so it gives off the heat, 
The energy absorbed in its characteristic color, they're all different depending on what it is. They're all different, and when it goes back to the ground state, so N equals one is the ground state. Ground state. That begs the question, what do hamburger and electrons have in common? They're both in the ground state. They're both in the ground state. <laughs> hamburger. No, I understand the joke, but I'm like, are like some like Let's go back to let's go back to this. Uh, if I was to ask you and say this, all right, all objects at rest stay at rest unless, unless what? All objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless occupied by an outside force. So, do I have an outside force here? Yes. The Bunsen burner is an outside source. I'm exciting those electrons. Do they want to move? No, they like being in the ground state. That's nice and relaxed. That's like when you get home on Saturday, you had a long day, you had a practice, you had some homework, and then you get you know the old Snuggie on, and you got the bag of chips and the Diet Pepsi, right? That's in your ground state. You were in the excited state all day. You gave off all the energy you had to get back to the ground state. The same thing with electrons. They don't want to be excited for too long. They can't be. They have to give up the energy as it to go back to the ground state. That is the flame fact in a nutshell. Do I have...